Good evening, listeners, and welcome to episode 22 of The Lene Show. Today's episode is important to me because I am a mom of two, and I'm going to be discussing my thoughts on the Sandy Hook Promise school shooting PSA. Now, if you've been living under a rock and you haven't heard about it or seen the one-minute video online, I will actually play the video for you on today's episode because I honestly feel like it can have the same impact whether you have watched it or you have heard it. For those of you who are not up to date on our latest school shootings in our country, because there are a lot, Sandy Hook Elementary School is a school located in Newtown, Connecticut, where tragically on December 14th, 2012, 26 people were shot and killed by 20-year-old Adam Lanza. Of those 26 people, 20 were children ages 6 and 7 and 6 were adults. Lanza also killed his mother earlier that day before heading to Sandy Hook Elementary School. The video has been a topic of conversation all over the news stations and social media, with people debating whether or not this video is appropriate for all ages and even if kids, whether teenagers or or not, should be watching this video. I will play the video for you now and give my thoughts on the video after. This year, my mom got me the perfect bag for back to school. These colorful binders help me stay organized. These headphones are just what I need for studying. These new sneakers are just what I need for the new year. This jacket is a real must-have. My parents got me the skateboard I wanted. It's pretty cool. These scissors really come in handy in our class. These colored pencils, too. These new socks, they can be a real lifesaver. I finally got my own phone to stay in touch with my mom. Now, obviously, as I said, if you haven't seen the video, I definitely recommend you go on YouTube and look up Sandy Hook Promise School Shooting PSA dot org. Well, that's their website. Or you can go on YouTube and just type in Sandy Hook Promise PSA and the video will come up. I don't know how, you know, some people are visual and some people can kind of hear things. If you listen to the video itself, you can obviously picture in your head what's going on. So it, it starts off like a regular back to school commercial. You think it's like a, a Walmart maybe or, you know, like a Staples commercial because they're talking about folders and scissors and how all of these things will help them throughout their school year. But then in the video, which you do not get to see, obviously, but um which is why I recommend you go seeing it, but you hear, you can hear the gunshots in the background. Um, you can hear students running. And obviously at the end, which is the real heart tugger is the young girl hiding. She's hiding in a bathroom and she's texting her mom saying that she loves her because this could be the last thing that she ever says to her mother. This video to me is so important. I don't understand why this something like this is just coming out now in 2019, especially because Sandy Hook happened in 2012. And before Sandy Hook, we have Cal- Calabine and Virginia and a ton of other school shootings going on. And our kids need to know, one, how to protect themselves, what to do, what are the signs. Um, and even before it gets to this point, you know, talking to your children, noticing differences in your kid, uh, having conversations about how they're feeling, if they're being, being bullied, even if they're not being bullied, do they have friends, so on and so forth. And this is why I personally feel like this video is important. I've talked to a lot of parents and about this video because obviously as a mom you like to talk to other parents you like to hear their point of view I actually like to also hear people who don't have kids point of view because sometimes their point of view is actually more straightforward because they don't have the kids they don't have to deal with the heart wrench and though they may not do what they think they will do it's still good to hear their opinion and I have to say that a lot of parents are actually against the video A lot of parents feel like, you know, kids at at certain ages should not be uh, required to watch something like this or know about this going on. But 
To me, it's no different. Obviously, as a woman of color, this goes to me back to pretending that racism doesn't exist or profiling doesn't exist or follow me around the store. I mean, all of those are the same things, right? You want to pretend to your kids that color doesn't matter and that someone won't, uh, what if they're, if they're a child of color, someone won't dislike them because of their color and vice versa. You know, if your child is white, you know, you want, you want to pretend like, you know, it's impossible for them not to like someone or your views haven't come on your kid things like that we want to live in this world where tragedy doesn't happen does it have to be this bad is it sad that it's this bad actually yes but what i'm saying is we love to have our kids in this little bubble where nothing happens there are no pedophiles there are no school shooters there is no racism there's no kidnapping, you know, whatever happened to stranger danger, you know, it's like all of that stuff goes out the window. And we want our kids to be in a world where this stuff doesn't exist. And it's sad because not teaching them that is what could possibly have your child, my child uh, killed, because they don't know what to do in this situation. And guess what? It doesn't guarantee that your life is going to be saved. It's like driving the car with a seatbelt, right? The seatbelt does not guarantee life. Obviously, there have been plenty of people who have passed away from a car accident with their seatbelt on, right? But the odds are just in your favor with the seatbelt. And obviously, all kinds of things come into play, like the type of car accident and things like that, that sometimes it just don't matter what there's nothing that's going to protect you. That, to me, is like a school shooting. At the end of the day, if the shooter, because this particular shooting, Sandy Hook, if you read about it, he walked up to kids specifically and just shot them. They were hiding and he just walked over. So it's obviously that cannot, nothing can protect you from that, right? There's nothing that's going to be able to save your child if the school shooter finds their hiding place and just shoots them. They can't play dead. They can't do any of that. Those are the circumstances where it doesn't matter. But there are circumstances that because this school school that I'm speaking about there was one little girl who um I think I read hid in like a corner so he shot the other kids in the classroom but she was in a small corner that he did not get to see or did not notice and she also did not speak and so that little girl, thank God, was is alive. And I'm sure that doesn't mean that these other parents don't deserve their kids. I'm just saying that this little girl just knew, you know what? Unfortunately, everyone in this room is dying, but I need to sit still. I need to continue to hide. I need not to pop my head out. I need not to jump when I heard the shooting. These are things. Another little girl, mind you, these kids are six and seven years old. Another little girl apparently uh, uh, played dead. And then another teacher... Um, there was some covering her, her window and he thought the classroom was closed off. These are things that saved other kids lives. There was another one where they hid under the desk. He came in, but he hid under the desk and the guy stood, the shooter stood at her desk she saw his feet and she just didn't even breathe these are things that saved her because i bet you if he would have heard her he would have shot right through that desk and so this is why this video is important to me because it's not just about the adults because obviously as an adult you can think a little better um even under even though some adults don't do well under um stressful situations you just have that flight uh or fight uh, that kicks in right when you're an adult, but when you're a six or seven year old child, you don't have that. Not no matter of fact, everyone doesn't have it because there are some six and seven year olds that can really give you a run for uh your money and really surprise you in their choices of what they're going of what they do and you know just what they think they would do. But overall, six and seven year olds and e- even I want to say maybe 15 and under, I hope around 16 and 17, our kids are mature enough to kind of think on their, you know, but what I'm saying is this, I've never been in a situation like that. But I, I also want to say that I'm sure it's hard. But I'm just talking about these little ones. These commercials are actually, for me, better for kids that are their ages, because they're not really mentally ready to think for themselves. And the kids, six, seven, 
five, four, they get afraid really easily. You ever see a little kid, if they think they lost their mom, they turn around and the mom is gone and they just start having a panic. At, and the, the mom could be right on the other side. They just maybe turned left and the mom was to the right or vice versa. And they just lose it. These are things you need to teach your kid because losing it is not going to do anything for you, right? Though, if your child really did turn around, if you were in the supermarket, which has happened to plenty of us moms, we've all turned in the aisle and, you know, not we all, because of course I'm going to have a follower or something tell me, uh, that wasn't me. But anyway, for us regular moms, um, you know, you're in the supermarket, you're letting your toddler kind of just enjoy the supermarket and they're right there and you grab some cereal and you keep walking and you think the toddler's following you doesn't make you a bad mom guys just in case and you turn that corner now that toddler depending on the age but i'm just saying they 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 look and they're like "Mm, mom's not here wait a minute and then they start crying they start panicking like oh my goodness and you hear them and whatever i'm not talking about like infants i'm talking about toddlers four five even six years old you know they're kind of you know learning their own and they start panicking that is something you want to teach your child right at a young age you want to tell them if you look up and mommy's not here i don't want you screaming and crying and leaping i want you not even saying mommy i want you calling names i want to hear lene lene you know that if they can learn mom and dad they can learn a name or, or, or a nickname something that you know because mom is common right There are 20 moms out in this world. I want to hear something, you know, that I know that you're missing or that you don't realize that I'm there because maybe I didn't notice. Maybe I didn't know my child wasn't there. And I'm not saying that this is going to work for every child. I'm just giving uh, um, ideas that can help our kids not be so terrified when something serious is going on and could possibly save their lives, could possibly stop them from being kidnapped, could possibly stop them from being shot. I just think it's really important that we acknowledge that these are things that our kids need to handle. So uh, I I saw on a lot of the comments and not just the comments with me talking to other uh, parents about what what they think about the situation. And a lot of the parents are saying, you know, as I say that my kid is too young, this is going to terrify kids. Some kids are not going to want to go to school. Well, guess what? That is life. Does life terrify you? Because the truth is, it doesn't have to happen at a school. It can happen at a movie theater. It can happen at a concert, as we all know. Okay, it can happen at a grocery store. The truth is, active shooters, uh, yes, it seems like they are uh, pretty adamant on going to schools and taking our children's lives but they can go to the concert they can go to the baseball game i mean uh today is uh tuesday and yesterday there was a shooting i want to say in pennsylvania because i was rushing for work this morning so yesterday there was a school shooting at a football game i mean i mean not i apologize not a school shooting there was a shooting that was going on. It had nothing to do with the football game. It had nothing to do with the school. But there was a football game going on. And there was some, you know, I don't know whether you want to say gang, drugs. Who knows? I, You know, they, they actually don't know what the shooting was about. They have confirmed that it wasn't related to the school. Because there, no, there were no kids getting shot directly at the school. No bullets were going towards there. Two students were hit, though. But they were hit in the crossfire like so inside the stadium and everything nobody was hit it was two kids sitting um on on the stands um and who they also i think they heard the shots or they thought they heard shots and before they could even leave you know they were both shot they both survived but my point is is that that wasn't a school shooting that wasn't a shooting directed towards kids it had nothing to do with them they just happened to be having a good old football game and now two kids been shot thank god they live but they've been shot so what i what i'm saying is that telling your kids thinking that your kids are going to be afraid to go to school. Are they going to be afraid to walk outside? Are they going to be afraid to go? And maybe they are. Maybe they are. Maybe they are afraid to walk outside. Maybe they are afraid to go to school. But you need to let them know you cannot be afraid. Um, It doesn't help you because unfortunately we have no control over the actions of another person. All we can do is control ourselves and... uh do our best to protect ourselves and possibly protect someone else else if you can. And uh, there was, you know, there's so many to talk about. There, but there was another shooting um, 
Oh, dang it. That was also in Pennsylvania. I don't know if it was at a bar or something. Somebody was shooting and people just push people out the way. And I mean, it's just random. And actually that, that bar shooting, I think that was last year where somebody walked into the bar. It's just,